hello everyone welcome to my channel so in this video we will see how we can download and install the visual studio code and how we can configure the same in our mac os machine so basically visual studio code is a code editor provided by microsoft itself in this code editor we can you know use for basically i use that code editor for my front-end developments basically react or angular or react native or writing up html or you know any front-end based code but this is very powerful code editor we can also this code editor for using java based development or any C code by using some of the extensions so visual studio code is an open source code editor quite lightweight provided by microsoft and it's a cross-platform based editor can be used on microsoft windows mac os and linux based environment so i'm just going to download this for my mac os machine and going to configure this at start this so let's start so now i'm just going to open a web browser you can open any web browser of your choice so i have opened my web browser and i am just going to type google.com and write up visual studio code so the first url in the search results from visual studio.com i'm just going to click on this url and your web browser will most mostly automatically detect what type of os are you using so it detects i'm using mac os so it shows me like you need to download for mac os but if you are using any windows based environment be it windows 10 11 or any windows version you can download it for windows based from here okay and you can download it for linux based also and you also always have to need to download the stable version and but if you want to you know have the insiders version or better release version you can also do so so i'm just going to download the mac os stable version universal version okay so i'm just going to click on download i'm going to allow this the download pop-up screen will open and it will start downloading we can see it will download in few seconds based upon your internet speed okay so my visual studio code has been downloaded so i'm now just going to click on this and it will just start run so it will ask the application has been downloaded from internet and you just going to have to allow this to open okay so i'm just going to cancel this because i have already downloaded and copied the same to my applications folder you can see i have copied the same to my applications folder you can also do so by copying this same to your applications folder now i am just going to open my visual studio code so i am going to my launch pad and i am just going to open my visual studio code from here so this is a default window for visual studio code and visual studio code like i have earlier said you is a very good editor for you know using it for front-end based development be it angular or react it, it provides so many extensions so many you know extensions provided by official microsoft vs code itself or some of those are community based so you can read about them search for all those extension and can be useful for doing up coding for front-end okay so like i have you know added up the dark theme you can also download some extensions for that so let's start doing coding so i'm just going to click on this explorer and i'm just going to create a new folder so i'm going here in my downloads now i'm just going to create a new folder first project open visual studio code will ask you to access the downloads or documents folder wherever you want to create a folder of your project so i'm just going to allow this allow the trust okay so i can see my project folder has been opened up in my explorer now i'm just going to create one html file index.html 
okay so you can see after creating my index.html you can see a logo or an icon of html file while creating this index.html similarly if i create one js file also app.js you can see js icon there and similarly if i create any css style.css you can see css icon so how these icons are automatically adding up in my html js css so i have added some extensions so i have added one extensions material icon theme you can also add this icon so using this icon all your file icon theme this will automatically set up so after installing this i have already installed this this extensions are provided by philip cave so you can also download and install this so after downloading what you need to do is just go to file and you just need to go to preferences as i'm using mac os system so i'm just going to code preferences and i'm just going to select file icon theme and from here i have selected material icon okay if i selected none so that won't be visible okay so this one is a useful icon it you know while working on a large project where multiple files are there so if you want to you know just differentiate between what are js or you know what are csa so by you know seeing those icons you can differentiate between two so it's a useful icon now coming back to the code part i'm going to code one html code so i'm use i'm just going to code it so let's start so entering exclamation and enter okay so you can see i have just written all the all that much amount of code html in a probably one or two seconds so that's emit coding okay so using emit what i have done is i have just written up exclamation and press tab or enter so my html or default structure of html code comes up okay so you can also use emit and i'm just going to create one header tag hello visual studio code and if i have to test this so what earlier we do is we just going to save this and from our finder we just launch that html file but that doesn't need to be done in visual studio code so what we can do is i'm just going to hit right click open with live server okay so i have opened the live server from my visual studio code and this has opened up in my ip default ip localhost and the port 5500 so going back to my code you can see that i have also installed one more extension that is live server provided by ritwig day so using this extension what happens is whenever you you know write up your html code or js css you can easily test that html code by going up right click and open with live server and just test your code whether or not your html code is working fine or not so there are many more useful extensions we can use in visual studio code so using these steps we can you know just download and install and configure our visual studio code and add up those icons useful for front-end development or any you know development related to front-end like be it rectangular or view or you know js if you are doing js so that is helpful so that's it for today guys please comment if you have any suggestions or if you have any doubt for this thank you have a good day